Right, jet fuel from tyres is one thing and another problem to solve is finding new ways to create limitless clean energy to power our homes. For years there have been high hopes that a process called nuclear fusion might help achieve that. Scientists have spent decades trying to find a way to make it a reality and now a technological breakthrough made on Teesside might have cracked at least one part of the puzzle. David Macmillan has more. This is a small piece of steel. It's not much to look at, but this modest scrap of metal is one of the keys needed to unlock a clean energy revolution. Southbank Research Centre, the Materials Processing Institute, say they've made the world's first industrial scale batch of steel that can be used in a nuclear fusion reactor. Well, that piece of steel um, is a small piece of uh, a groundbreaking bit of work that we've delivered here at, uh, at MPI in Middlesbrough. We've created a grade of steel which is strong enough and robust enough and special enough to be able to be used in various applications within a future fusion reactor. Nuclear fusion is described as having the potential to create limitless clean energy, greener and more powerful than existing nuclear power. In very basic terms, nuclear fusion works by taking atoms that ideally want to move well away from one another and forcing them together. When they fuse, they give off colossal amounts of energy. But it takes colossal amounts of heat and pressure to make that happen. That's why the nickname given to a nuclear fusion reactor is the artificial sun. What it has to withstand is aggressive environments, because obviously there's neutrons flying about, which isn't a normal activity that steel has to resist uh, in great quantities. So it has to be capable of handling a lot of irradiation. Um, it has to perform over an extended period. It has to be strong enough to be able to withstand high temperatures. There's a hope that this breakthrough will put Teesside at the heart of nuclear fusion development. This MP says it will boost the government's confidence to invest in the sector. So we are world leading. The world's first um, commercial scale nuclear fusion reactor is going to be built in West Burton in Nottinghamshire using the steel that's been developed here in Redcar and we need to invest to make sure that we do more of that and capture that in the UK as well. So we, we could be world leading in this. Britain, Teesside could build a brand new energy technology that will literally save the world in terms of climate change. Electricity made from nuclear fusion has been a distant dream for decades and it's still a long way off. But this Teesside technological breakthrough may edge it a